Hi, my name is Ayala and I'm from Spain. I never thought my mom would try to control my love life. But boy, was I in a surprise. Before I continue my crazy story, please like and subscribe. Growing up, I was an only child and my parents owned the largest makeup company in the city. When I was five years old, my entire world turned upside down when my best friend, Andy, told dad that he saw mom kissing Mr. Johnson, the mailman. Dad was devastated. You see, dad was ill and I really thought mom loved him. He kissed me goodbye, told me he loved me and left for good. Mom has hated Andy ever since. Andy and I were inseparable, even though mom tried to keep us apart. We kept our friendship a secret and actually started dating in high school. Andy and I were in our last year of high school and I couldn't wait to leave home and go to college so Andy didn't have to sneak around. But what mom did next left me speechless. Ayala, I invited Andy over for dinner. I think it's time we deal with unresolved issues. Before I could object, mom continued. Now go upstairs and freshen up. Throw on something nice. At 6.15, the doorbell rang. Ayala, could you get that, please? My mind raced and my stomach churned as I opened the door. Before me stood a slender, six foot two, black haired, godlike version of Jason Momoa. He was holding a bouquet of flowers. Ah, Emmanuel, I see you've made it. Come in, come in. Emmanuel smiled and handed me the flowers. Ayala, go put that in some water, will you, dear? As I was pulling a vase from the cupboard, the doorbell rang again. I heard the door open and Andy greeted mom. I stumbled awkwardly into the living room. Well, now that we're all here, let me get to it. Ayala, I know you have some type of feelings for this boy, but I think you're making a grave mistake. You can do so much better than him, like Emmanuel. Mom, I grabbed Andy's hand. Are you crazy? Mom pulled out her phone and pressed play on a video. My mouth <gasps> dropped. Andy, what is this? I showed him the video. Andy was kissing another girl. With widened eyes, Andy turned to me. I never... Never what? Kissed her? Let me guess. Your lips fell off and ran to hers? Andy, I think it's time you left. Mom walked towards the front door and opened it. Andy looked at me and without saying a word, he left. How could you? I ran up to my room and cried myself to sleep. Emmanuel's cute, isn't he? Mom eyed me over her morning cup of coffee. I shrugged my shoulders as I grabbed an apple from the fruit bowl. With Andy out of the picture, you and Emmanuel can now date. This will be a perfect opportunity for my company. Makeup meets models. Mom, you broke up Andy and I so you could get the perfect opportunity for your company? I can't believe you. I was about to storm off when mom grabbed my arm. You are not going to mess this up for me. You will date Emmanuel and you will like it. I need his uncle's money to boost the company. As I walked through the hallway, someone grabbed my hand and pulled me into a classroom. Babe, please tell me you didn't believe your mother. Andy's confused eyes searched mine. I hugged Andy. Mom is trying to get me to date this guy to help with their company. We've always dated behind your back, so this is a new territory. Just a few more months and we can leave this place forever. I nodded. Andy pulled me into a kiss and I melted in his arms. I'll see you tonight at our spot, okay? That night, as I sat on the park bench waiting for Andy, Emmanuel sat next to me. What are you doing here? Well, according to your mother, you are my girlfriend and I'm here to take you out on a date. It seems as though my mother misinformed you. I already have a boyfriend. I got up and walked away, but Emmanuel fell into step next to me and tried to hold my hand, but I pushed him off. Whether you like it or not, you belong to me. Emmanuel leaned in for a kiss. I belong to no one. I slapped Emmanuel squarely face. He raised his arm to return the slap, but someone knocked him to the ground. It was Andy. Both boys fell to the ground and limbs flew everywhere. After a few minutes, two joggers separated them. I grabbed Andy's hand. Babe, please, let's just go. You'll pay for this. Emmanuel sputtered as he wiped the blood from the side of his lip. As we walked back home, two police officers pulled up next to us and one of the officers hopped out of the car. Are you Andy Monroe? Yes, I am. 
Without hesitation, the officer handcuffed Andy. What are you doing? Why are you arresting him? The officer ignored me and threw Andy into the back seat. Then they drove away. Immediately, I called mom and what she told me made me glance at my phone in shock. If you want Andy released, you will date Emmanuel. If not, I will make sure that Andy is lost in prison forever. Stay right where you are. Emmanuel will be there in a few seconds to pick you up. The phone went dead. And sure enough, Emmanuel pulled up in a black sports car. Reluctantly, I hopped in. The night was spent with Emmanuel talking about something he loved most in this world. Himself. While I nodded and grunted responses. As we exited the restaurant, something caught the corner of my eye. Dad? I mumbled. What was that, babe? Nothing. I said as I hopped into the car. I must have just imagined it. At school the next day, I looked everywhere for Andy, but he wasn't there. He's not here, you know. What are you doing here? Well, I told Uncle Ray I wanted a transfer, and since I always get what I want, here I am. I sighed. At least, do you know if he's okay? I tried calling him, but I didn't get any response last night. He's fine. He and his family left town last night. With him out of the picture, you can focus on me. Everything in me wanted to wrap my fingers around his throat, but I knew my mother. She'd make my life and Andy's life living hell if I tried to see him again. So I decided to go with the flow, at least until I graduated from high school in a few months. Over the next few weeks, I was engulfed in Emmanuel's life as a model, the dinner parties, the events, and the lifestyle. Mom was happy, and once mom was happy, everyone was safe. After my last class, my phone buzzed. A text message from an unknown number told me to check my locker. Hi, babe. Are you ready for our first photo shoot today? Emmanuel draped his arm casually around my shoulders. Startled, I quickly shoved my phone into my pocket. I just have to collect my book from my locker, okay? Well, I'll walk you there. Um, it's a surprise for you. So meet me at the car, okay? I fluttered my eyelashes at him. As soon as Emmanuel walked away, I headed to my locker. Inside was an envelope. The contents of the envelope made my head swirl. There were about 10 pictures of mom, all in wedding gowns standing next to men. Each photo was dated. The last was dated about three months ago. As I walked away from my locker, a wave of dizziness washed over me. I pushed the photos into my bag. Who were these men? Mom traveled a lot, but she always said it was for business. I took a few more steps before I felt myself crashing to the ground. I woke up in Emmanuel's arms. His eyes bore traces of concern. Ayala, what happened? Emmanuel helped me to my feet and pulled me close to him as we slowly walked out the building. I don't know. Let's get you home. Once at home, mom was furious that I couldn't make it to the photo shoot. I was surprised when Emmanuel informed mom that if I was forced to attend anything, she'd no longer have a contract with his uncle's company. They agreed that she'd go while Emmanuel spent the evening with me. Thanks for sticking up for me, I said as I curled up on the sofa. No problem. How about we watch some TV? Emmanuel switched on the television and I gasped when I saw the two IDs pop up on the screen. One was Andy's ID. Earlier this afternoon, there was an accident on the Solomon Hachoi Highway. Both persons died upon impact. I felt as though the fabric of my world was unraveling and fast. The next few days were blurry, but Emmanuel was supportive through it all. He was different, sort of sweet, not the usual self-absorbed person that I met a few weeks ago. A few days after Andy's funeral, I was preparing to go to mom's company's largest event of the year. Mom went ahead and Emmanuel was on his way to pick me up. The doorbell rang and I opened it. I recognized that it was the girl from the video mom showed me with Andy. Andy wanted you to have this. She handed me an envelope and walked away. I closed the door and opened the envelope as I wiped the tears that fell onto my cheeks. There was a letter in it written in Andy's handwriting and a photo. Dear Ayala, I'm sorry you had to find out this way, but I needed to get all the facts first. The man in the picture is your mother's first husband and your biological father, Sidney Cole. When he passed away, your mother had him cremated the day after he died. Soon after, she met your father and married him. Your father never knew you weren't his. 
This is not the first man that has had an untimely death after marrying your mother. We have found ten other connections so far with your mother. I sent those pictures to you previously. We were able to get a blood sample of one of her victims when we found a poisonous substance in his blood. This substance was also found in your stepdad's blood. There is more to this story, but that part is not mine to tell. Soon you'll have all the pieces of the puzzle. I hope that one day we can rekindle what we had. Forever yours, Andy. My legs felt like wet noodles and my hands trembled. I couldn't believe what I just read. My mother was many things, but for her to be... No, I couldn't accept it. About 30 minutes later, Emmanuel and I arrived at the event and mom had just given her speech. People applauded and so did I. However, I didn't stop when the others died down. I kept clapping as I walked towards the stage. Emmanuel grabbed my arm. This is not the time or the place. I pulled away from him, storming onto the stage, and stood behind the podium in front of the mic. Good evening, everyone. I hope everyone's enjoying the party. A loud roar came from the crowd. I just have one question for my mother. Why did you do it? Why did you kill all of these men? I opened the envelope and threw the pictures into the crowd. Security! Get me security! Get her out of here! The security guards grabbed my arms and tried to drag me off the stage. Get your hands off my daughter! My heart stopped. Dad? The crowd gasped as Dad, followed by Emmanuel's uncle and the strange girl, stepped onto the stage. Emmanuel's uncle flashed his badge at them and they took their hands off of me. What's happening here, Ronnie? What are you doing? What's happening here is you're being arrested for the murder of 10 men. Thanks to my blood sample, we were able to connect all the dots. Ronnie looked at me. One thing the letter forgot to state was that Sidney Cole had a 22-year-old son named Ronald Cole. Ronnie winked. What? You're my brother? And this is my daughter, Maxine. When Dad died, I was deep undercover on a case. I didn't realize Dad passed away six months ago. Dad's body was also cremated the next day, and when Dad's sister said they wanted an autopsy, they were overruled because his wife said no. Dad chimed in. After I left your mom, I went to a specialized health facility. That's when we first found traces, but I didn't think much of it until I realized your mother was getting married and leaving bodies behind, and she was their sole beneficiary. I'm sorry I stayed away this long, honey. Dad hugged me. Let's all meet up for dinner at my place tomorrow night. We have a lot to catch up on. Ronnie escorted mom out of the building. I walked off the stage and exited the building with dad shortly after. Hi. I spun around. With the bouquet of flowers, Andy stood behind me. Dad kissed me on my cheek and walked a few steps away. Andy, how? My arms flew around his neck and I kissed him. I had some help. Emmanuel nodded in our direction before he left hand in hand with Maxine. Wait, what? Everything was planned. Emmanuel is Maxine's boyfriend. We just needed a hook to get close to your mother, and with large sums of money in play, your mother took the bait. And do you have a hook to get closer to me? I traced a finger along Andy's jawline. I always do. We kissed. After Andy pulled away, I looked into his eyes. So, was the video with you and Maxine real? <laughs> um, <laughs> um, 